One of the tricks the cabal use is to ridicule something in the form of a movie when it is real and true. And so if anybody speaks of it, they will be instantly ridiculed. Now, evidence for this is at the end credits for movies. Now, the industrial military complex, uh, one hell of an evil organization. In America, the Army, Navy, and Air Force, they subcontract out to these companies for their weapons and technology. Now, these people are junkies on technology. I mean, they're sick. And so, if you see these companies in the closing credits of certain films, I'll give you some examples. Coneheads, Men in Black, Alien. I'm trying to think of a few at the moment. Prognig Prognignus. Um, Star Trek, etc. Men in Black. Now, wouldn't you wonder why that they're only mentioned in these credits? I'll give you an example. And my major subject is Tibetan metaphysics. And um, underneath the Patola in Tibet, deep down in the lava tunnels, there is a huge stone which you can't notice and you can push on it with a finger and it weighs tons and it will turn silently. And you go in that room and there are two open coffins, 14 foot and 16 foot long. Now your urge right now, you're going to get an urge in a minute, but as I always teach you about mindfulness, be aware of your own mind responding to what I'm about to say. And the more honest you are, the more you will grow. And so in these coffins are two bodies that have not, um, um, what's the word? Uh, they haven't like rotted or anything. And they are what is known as what you would call cone heads. Now, the skulls they find around the world are either families who tape up and board their children's heads to give the look of an elongated skull. Because in ancient times, when the visitors came, they were worshipped. And so to do this to their kid might give them higher status in their society. But the difference between those skulls and the real cone heads is mass. The skeptics will tell you that the heads are just all boarded up. But there's 30% more mass inside the real skulls. And so there is two in Tibet. And China, 10 years ago, discovered two of them. And they were really really pissed off because they believe that them the yellow man was first in china and there's no way around it and so when they found these two beings in the place that they found these bodies it shook the halls of um honor and it freaked them out because there's white people dating back thousands of years and so then this brings us to the concept which is known as the men in black. Nobody quite knows where they're from, but they clearly have highly advanced powers. They're almost zombie-like in their appearance and the way they walk. It's almost as if that they've borrowed a body. Um, they can ring and say, can we come over? And three seconds later, be knocking on your door. And you might have a farmhouse hundreds of miles from anywhere. And um, But if you know anything about the man in black, I've got a playlist you can look at. They are real. 
and deadly. Now, in the movie Men in Black, do you remember they hold up that device and he presses it and a light flashes and you lose your memory? Okay, what if I told you that some video was leaked and it was security surveillance video of a young man who was a um, accountant and he had a YouTube channel and he would investigate UFOs kind of stuff and on that weekend he investigated with some friends a light in local forests in in the UK he found an object and spoke of it on his YouTube channel while he's at work you can see the footage of the camera and the man who is exposing the footage is a security guard who doesn't believe in anything um, extraterrestrial or um, supernatural but he knows there's something not right here and we're watching the film and you see the man in black come in and there's no audio so you can only see the guy freaking out and getting really uncomfortable and stuff then the man pulls a fucking device out of his pocket presses a button and a light flashes and this young guy changes he becomes a zombie he walks over to his backpack bends over reaches in and all the time the man in black is looking at him the way a trainer would look at his animals he would reach in he grabs some object handed it to the man in black the man in black looked around and put it in his coat and the pair of them left now this young man has never been seen again. His YouTube has never been visited ever again. Also, I forgot to mention, after he pressed the light, he placed both of his hands down on the desk in front of him and he did this symbol. I do not know what it means, but I do know that the industrial military complex businesses are in the credits at the end of the Men in Black films in Hollywood. And so I just thought I, I'd share that with you because most people, if you mention cone elongable heads as aliens, they would immediately laugh because they're referencing that ridiculous movie called Cone Heads. This is what the intent is. You see, there's far more to researching truth than what you blindly on autopilot think is. It requires a lot of training and a lot of work on mindfulness and being aware of one's own mind. You also have to reverse which I'm going to get into in my other video, a um, discovery which I made, which was I was convinced that God gave his children some kind of tool to navigate this alien world and to help answer all of its incredible questions. And over seven months of deliberation, I come up with a conclusion that it was simply logic but through subliminal means hypnotic means and frequency um, waves pointed at you it has been changed from responding to outlandish subjects logically to responding to them in a knee-jerk fear-based emotional way that's why when you say to the average person, for example, do you believe in ghosts? Their first instance is to nervously laugh and say a few things. If you was to stop and say to them calmly, why is it that you laughed? And if you push hard enough, you'll come up with, um, it's fear. And this is to keep us dumbed down. I'll speak more of this in my next, my next video. 
Now this can be reversed, it only takes a week. You just must be aware of it. And um, for example, if you held up flashcards to two different people, one was reacting to outlandish subjects emotionally, the other was reacting logically. And these people were trained to respond to the flashcards with a word written on them without thought. Anybody could see a clear pattern forming between the two people. One is going nowhere. Nothing's happening. It's a joke. It's a waste. But the other one is growing intellectually and spiritually and personally. This is... You, it cannot be argued, it's just so, so freaking obvious. But um, I just wanted to put that video out on Men in Black. And if you wish to learn more about it, I have a playlist called Men in Black. Remember, do as you'd be done by.